Let's talk about beans. Homemade beans specifically from dried. I prefer to do it in the pressure cooker. It's super easy and it tastes delicious. Now homemade beans, one of those things, dried beans can be very intimidating, especially when you first get them and you realize how long it's going to take to cook and they're soaking and there's all these things involved. First, don't be intimidated. It seems like a lot, but really most of the time spent is just waiting. So soaking, it takes a little bit of planning. You soak it overnight and then uh, it cooks a lot faster the next day. It also removes some of the gassiness that can come out of beans. So highly recommend the soaking. You do need to plan ahead though, but once you do, it's a lot cheaper than buying canned beans. You have much more control over the, the sodium and just flavor of the beans and then a lot more flavorful because you can actually infuse flavors into the beans when you cook them. And so today I wanna show you doing one pot in the Instant Pot of dried black beans that you can make spicy and not spicy with a few different ingredients that we uh, include while they're cooking and then also chop up and mix in once they're done. So excited to dig in, enjoy this video about beans, and if you have any questions or thoughts, let me know in the comments. Pretty easy, right? You can do this with all sorts of beans. Uh, I did black beans. I also will do the exact same recipe with pinto beans. It turns out similar. And you can mix and match the things that you're including in there. You can do more or less chilies. The cinnamon obviously gives it an interesting, different flavor. Uh, the basic, basic is just salt. Literally just same amount of beans, teaspoon of salt, water. That's the basic. But then you can add and do all these kinds of fun things uh, with those beans. And they store really well. So I'll keep some in the fridge. I'll also do individual like one cup containers in the freezer. So you just take them out, defrost it overnight. Again, you get a lot out of this and it's really nutritious, uh, inexpensive and super versatile. So highly recommend experimenting with making your own beans. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please like, comment, tag, share, subscribe, follow, all the things to spread the good word of the vegetarian dude. Thanks for watching. Be well.